What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another unboxing. And if this is what I think it is, I am really excited about this guy. So this thing is ultra sealed up. So just bear with me while we dig into this guy. So we have another box. So safe travels. This was definitely prepped for travel. So I am actually having trouble keeping up with which products are which. Uh, so yes, this is exactly what I thought it was. And that is awesome. That is all for in the box. So what we have guys is the very first Kubi knife to be sent in from Kubi. They reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in checking out one of their knives. And I said, you bet you I will. And uh, I love Kubi. They do a fantastic job on their budget knives. They do a fantastic job on their, you know, middle of the road production knives. They have knives that go up to $200. And I have several of them. And I've been a big fan of Kubi for a long time. And this model really struck a, struck a chord with me when they said that, you know, they had this model. And uh, I don't see anything on the box there. When they said that they had this model, and oh man, look at that. I said, yes, please send that guy in. It looks outstanding. 14C28N on the blade steel. You have a cutout and fuller. I like this finish on the blade. It's, it is, I think it's still a sand wash. It's got a high polish to it and it actually fits the knife pretty well. But what we have that is new to me and I think pretty new to Kubi is this crossbar lock. It's got, it's definitely got some tight tolerances in there. I can kind of feel, yeah, I can feel it breaking in as we, yep, there it goes. So there's definitely some nice tolerances going on in there with that crossbar lock. Nice strong springs. It looks like it's going to be on Omega, Omega Springs because they send an extra pack in with the knife, which is a very, nice touch so you have a drop point blade with a nice swedge going to that tip very nice that's going to add a nice amount of strength to that tip you have a little bit of belly here nice amount of straight edge sharpening choil looks pretty good there you know i've always said about kubi i love their logo and they do the kb on the pivot which i really like and i really like the logo I wish that they would just go to the logo here on the blade and just put it any old wear. Uh, that would be my preference and it would just look so much better. Uh, you know, and that's just my opinion, of course. And then on the back here, you have the maker's uh, initials and then you have the steel choice here, 14C28N. And I was ecstatic when Kubi said, yeah, it's in 14C, it's a crossbar lock. And then I took a look at it before, you know, I said, yeah, send it in because I didn't want to be checking something out I already had because I do have quite a few Kubis. And then look at that clip. Very nice clip. The screws are recessed. The pocket clip is not, but there is going to be plenty of room under there for in and out of the pocket. It will be reversible, which is a nice touch because this is going to be an ambidextrous model for our lefty brothers out there as well. This came nice and centered. Ooh, this thing is solid. Usually a crossbar lock will have a, you know, a tiny bit of play just because that's how the lock is or you know, a minimal amount, this has no play any direction. 
So that's pretty impressive. That means them tolerances are nice and tight. You have some nice fine jimping up here. Yeah, that'll be nice and usable there, that fine jimping. This is a nice, simple construction and Kubi executed this very well. So you only have two body screws over here. You have, and that will go through the standoff there. So you have flow through construction. You have two standoffs and a lanyard uh, spacer there as well. You have some circular internal milling in those steel liners. And those liners are recessed within these nice G10 scales. They do a, you know, semi horizontal pattern on here, kind of got a loop de loop to it. And then you got the circular milling pattern done up here. It flows together very nicely. The crossbar lock is done very well. You can get to those tabs easily, which I appreciate because all the crossbar locking knives that I've experienced, you have some very good ones as far as being able to, you know, you got to be able to get to these easily. So that way you can disengage the knife. Some companies just don't do a good job at being able to make these accessible for easy disengagement. In this case, they do protrude out just a little tiny bit, just enough that you can get a nice purchase on there. I like the satin hardware, all goes together, very nice. So why don't we get just a quick, we're gonna definitely do a full overview of this. So you're looking at three inches of cutting edge, about three and a quarter total, and then you're coming down there around seven and a quarter overall. So it's not a big, big knife. This is going to be in a lot of people's wheelhouses. Uh, oh, this is called the Bluff. That's exactly what it's called, the Kubi Bluff. And it's a fairly new model uh, to Kubi. I don't know, I haven't seen this a lot. So it, it's definitely a fairly new model to Kubi. And they've been just doing a fantastic job lately. They've been doing some Altum uh, scales in different variations. They've been using a lot of 14C 28N. And I much prefer 14C 28N over OS 10 or D2, of course. So you have some nice retention there on that pocket clip. Still goes in nice and easily. You have plenty of room under there, plenty of clearance to get this guy in and out of your pocket. I really like that pocket clip. They definitely have redesigned their pocket clip. So let's take just a quick little zoom in here so you can get a closer look. Plus I wanted to bring, this is just the first one, you know, I grabbed, but there is a look at one of the ways that they used to do their pocket clip. Now look at that guy. That is just clean, slimmer. This is very nice. Great job on the pocket clip there. This is a great knife, by the way, as well. This is called the Kubi Carve. I have beat this knife endlessly. We will be doing a full review on that soon. But uh, this bluff, guys, Kubi, I've been on Kubi for a good two years. You know, ever since I bought the S90V Drake, I have been on a Kubi tear. I probably have 20 or 30 Kubi knives in all kinds of different price ranges. I've been following them for a long time, which is one reason why I was really excited about, you know, starting to work with Kubi a little bit. And then they sent me uh, the description of this knife and some pictures and whatnot. And when I saw this thing, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be, you know, if it's executed right the way Kubi does, this is going to be amazing. And all things are pointing to this being very good. Now, a lot of people are going to love the fact that you have the cutout and fuller combo there. There's not going to be any rear flipper. There will not be any front flipper. And 
I think a majority of people, there are people out there who love front flippers and rear flippers, and I'm, I love both, uh, but there's going to be a lot of people out there who appreciate this not having a front or rear flipper. They just want the whole or the fuller combo, and that is it. And I have no issues with that at all. This is a nice slow roller as well. I think once this gets broken in here, uh, you know, it, it probably doesn't have any oil in it. It's not been broken in. So, and, and that's good that, you know, this crossbar lock is the way it is. When it's nice and tight out of the box, I mean, the blade is still nice and smooth and free flowing. But that lock is kind of having some resistance. And that means that the tolerances in there are executed properly. That means, you know, instead of you getting the knife and the knife just kind of flying right down all loosey-goosey, willy-nilly, because of it being so tight, that means it's proper and that means it needs broken in. It needs time to break in, opposed to the tolerances being a little looser and then you having that better action right out of the box. I would take this 10 times out of 10. I'd rather have tight tolerances, solid lockup, and have to break the knife in than be able to get the knife out of the box and say it has fantastic, uh, you know, uh, fantastic action. I want functional knives first and then those things to follow the function. That is, first and foremost, I'd rather have a solid lock like the crossbar lock here with nice tight tolerances. And yeah, maybe the blade won't just fling shut instantly or right away, but eventually, you know, enough opening and closing of this knife, it will start to shut on its own just like you're seeing here. And it'll take even less to get it to close. Uh, the springs in here are very well done. Very well done. Let's cut something with this guy. So we have a nice thin piece of magazine paper here. The edge looks very good on this thing, I might add. Yeah, buddy. That has a beautiful edge on it. Very nice. And you might be saying, well, that's just paper. Well, how about some cardboard then? Yep. Just like butter. Don't need much on this at all. And the other cool thing about this knife is because of how it's designed, you'll be able to get right up on that tip for nice precision type cuts, detailed type cuts. And because of the way it's designed, you'll be able to get right up on that edge as well for a nice control over that blade. So a very well thought out design. Uh, pretty impressive, guys. I, I really am happy with this design. When I first saw it, I thought that it would be a home run and it's definitely turning out to be that way. Kubi's not, you know, an unknown company where it's like we got to kind of see, you know, how, you know, this is going to be a good knife. I'm calling it how I see it and how it's been with Kubi for the last few years. I'm already calling it this is going to be a good EDC knife. Uh, there's no question about it. Kubi does a great job on their own line. And then their OEM work that they've been doing over the last year or two is just out of this world good. Uh, so they are stepping in all the right directions, in my opinion. So we have one final test here. We're just going to just check that lock and make sure there's no slippage or anything like that up towards the tip center of the blade and up towards the tang and right there i'm happy with that guys um 
you know, there's been a lot going on around the lock testing and spine whacking and all that stuff. And how whatever side you fall on is really irrelevant to me. It does not matter. I'm doing this for my own sake and for my own information. And I'm going to put that information out there. And then you do whatever you want with it. If you don't like it, then don't listen to it. If you do enjoy it and want to see, you know, right out of the box, how is that knife handling? How is it, you know, feel in hand? How is the blade? How does it carry? Is the lock strong? Then you are in the right spot because that's what we're going to continue doing here. I want to know what we're getting right out of the box. So that is first and foremost, you know, if you don't like that sort of thing or you don't agree with it, then you don't have to watch that part or watch it all. That is entirely up to you. But uh, I want to see for myself, I'm not here smashing this into the table or the piece of wood like it's a baseball bat. It is very light taps just to see what that lock is doing. Is it slipping? Is it failing? Is it strong as hell? Just like this, you know, that is what I'm trying to find. Look at that edge. Whoo, baby. Kubi absolutely nailed this. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this guy. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this uh, because first impressions on this, guys, this is a home run, 10 out of 10. Uh, time will tell, though. And we'll be doing a full in-depth overview of this guy here very soon. So stay tuned for that. Hit the thumbs up button for me. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or you've been here before and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. I'm going to throw up a couple new videos. Go check one of those out and I will catch you on the next one.